Hi everybody, Heather Stargazer here to do a reading for whoever, whenever, wherever. Uh, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you if uh, you're returning. Thank you if you've been here before. Um, thank you for hitting the like and subscribe buttons. We're going to uh, take, I'm feeling very earthy today. Um, so, you know, connecting with nature, touching, touching the ground, you know, put your feet in some water if you can, get some fresh air. That's how I was feeling today. So, um, we're kind of going, um, this direction with it. So I've got the runes, um, the druid craft, the wildwood tarot, earth magic, and we'll pull an oem at the end. So, uh, thank you, spirit, for everybody's greatest and highest good today. Wow. We get, um, Opening the Fire Torch, Kano number 14. All right. Um, this rune is the rune of opening up, of renewed clarity, of dispelling the darkness that has been shrouding some part of your life. You are now free to receive and know the joy of non-attached giving. Kano is the rune for the morning of activities, for seriousness, clarity, and concentration, all of which are essential at the beginning of work. The protection offered by Kano is this. The more light you have, the better you can see what is trivial and outmoded in your conditioning. In relationships, there can now be a mutual opening up. You may serve as the trigger, the timekeeper. Through your awareness of the light of understanding is once again available to you both. Recognize that while on one hand you are limited and dependent, on the other you exist at a perfect center where the harmonious and benefit beneficent forces of the universe merge and radiate. You are that center. Simply put, if you have been operating in the dark, there is now enough light to see the patient, and opera the patient on the operating table is yourself. Expect a darkening. If it's in reverse, it says expect the darkening of a light in some relationship. Friendship may be dying or a partnership or a marriage or some aspect of yourself that is no longer appropriate and valid. Receiving this room puts you on notice that failure to face up to the, uh, to the death consciously would constitute a loss of opportunity. Kano is one of the psycho runes and reversed it points to the death of a way of life invalidated by growth. Reversed, this rune calls for a giving up gladly of the old and of being being prepared to live for a time empty. It calls for developing inner stability, not being seduced by the momentum of old ways while waiting for the new to become illuminated in its proper time. Well, so um, I guess for some of us, we, I, I mean, it's always both, right? The, the upright and the reverse. My hand is really itching. So um, in order for, you know, us to really see the light, usually we see it the brightest in the darkness, right? Um, I shall not fear the night. How, uh, how's it go? I shall not fear the night, for we've been so fond, fondly of the stars. So it looks so fondly on the stars. Let's see. Yeah, there's the alarm, too. Let's see um, what the universe has in store for us today. Beautiful. Six of Wands, the moon, the two of Wands. There we go. Some sort of success, some sort of growth, some sort of celebration, right? Um, we might not be able to see fully where we're going right now, but um, it's going to put us on a, tr on a track that's going to give us a decision. Now we have the hermit in the world. The decision of which way to go. Ten of cups. I love this. Seven of wands. Death. There you go. That's that ending there. Death and the world, you guys. Something is coming to an end. We get the four of swords on the bottom and the six of swords wanted to come out. Oops. Dropping things here. No. On the bottom of the deck, we get the King of Cups. I do believe we had the King of Cups yesterday on the bottom of the deck from a different deck. So it is important for us to maintain our emotional intelligence. There is definitely um, something that happens, some sort of success that we came to um, that put us on a path um, of unknowing, right? And so we had to take a look inside ourselves. That's that hermit card. Um, really, what path are we taking? Where are we going? Why are we doing this? Why is this the, the um, direction that we want to go? Because some sort of cycle has come to an end and it gave us complete, um, complete fulfillment, complete happiness um, to, I would say, to allow it to 
one thing to end, right? Allow um, the completion to uh, come to pass. And so we also have the seven of wands. We have the six of wands and the seven of wands with the hermit in between because we may be conflicted about this success. We might be feeling defensive, but don't worry, we're standing on higher ground here. So um, it's important to look within, right? That light within, um, it's about learning. The hermit is about learning and teaching. Um, and guiding, right? It's got that guiding light. So even in the darkness of the night, of the moon, of the situation, of things that are um, maybe being withheld from us, maybe um, we can't fully see what uh, what is in front of us, what's available, what's going on around us, right? The hermit has that lantern and he shines that light so that we can see. And that light is within you, right? That internal glowing within you um, that... that uh, you are standing on higher ground. So here we have the death card, and that means that this cycle ending has created a complete change, something completely different than what we were used to before, what the situation was before, right? And now we're at a time of respite, four of swords, um, while our mind takes us to the next place. So while we're in this deep contemplation of the four of swords, and we're feeling really... Um, and say at peace, right? Feeling at good. Our family is feeling uh, well. Every everybody's um, okay with this. It's almost like this, like transitionary period. You know that defensiveness. We have to get over that. Accept the things that we don't know. Accept that the future is um, unwritten. Page of bows. The stout, right? So some news comes in. Some news comes in. Nine of arrows. Dedication. You know that's saying don't give up. Um, the news is keep going. Right now that um, there has been this transformation and we are sitting and resting, it's like don't sit. I say don't sit on your laurels, but it doesn't necessarily feel quite that way. It feels like, um, you know, there's so few times in life when we feel true peace. There's so few times in life where we feel um, like some sort of level of satisfaction because we've completed something and now we're at this peace. Usually we're in like the place of like go 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 or what do I do next or uh, you know in the. Um, like mode of, of, of kind of this, the stress, there's this defensiveness. Here's this nine of arrows. It's been a journey, you know, it's, to, it's been, I heard arduous, I heard arduous, right? So we, um, it's good for us to take that time when we, when, uh, and enjoy the completion, enjoy the, um, the cycle ending. Now we have the queen of bows and the two of arrows. Okay. So, um, it was on top like this. They came out together right? Because some sort of action, right, that, that we're taking, um, okay, oh, it's the same as the moon card. We often see the two of arrows as the uh, minor arcana for the moon card, right? And so it's like all of this fire, all of this passion, all of this drive that's gotten us to this point, right? And, and then um, messages, we're sending messages to others, we're receiving messages like what's going on next, what happened here, what happened here, ooh, I heard what happened here, right? And that's that moon next to the two of wands, right? This two of arrows, like there might have been some sort of um, injustice that occurred and that's why we had to stand up for ourselves. That's why we had to look within. There was some sort of like karmic imbalance that um, was created even though the level came to a completion and we were fulfilled. It was like, what was that that was holding us back? We might not be able to see it and here it comes fully, um, fully into the light the sun. So we went from not knowing and, and it's saying don't give up because when those messages come in, um, your creative potential is going to expand. I heard expand um, from being able to see this. Wow. Now we get the nine of bows, which is the nine of swords. And we have the forest lovers, uh, number six, the success. It, uh, I heard success, right? So binding with this, um, the, this partnership, that's like making a choice the binding of the partnership we could be binding to the choice that we have made right when the light came out in the sun that we allowed that cycle to end that's what Cana was all about at the beginning right we allowed that cycle to end and then there's like some creepiness in the background that it's kind of wanting um that could be what caused this injustice right kind of wanting us uh to stay, it says respect. It's like about, um, and the Nine of Swords is about anxiety, right? So having um, respect for the process, respect for the struggle. And um, then we get the Eight of Stone skill. We have to work. I heard we have to work. We have work to do. Seven of Bows, again. 
defending defending your work but like almost defending it by keeping it going by doing by taking it to the next level right we we finish something Joshma, we were talking about this yesterday. It's like go through the whole cycle and not only finishing it, but having the ability to take this to the next level now. Now we can accelerate. We can move up. We can go to, on to the next thing. Let's get one more. Four of bows, celebration. Right, because that's where that's where we need to be headed. It's going to be amazing and beautiful. Four of vessels, boredom, a lot of force here, business, um, structure. Yeah. It's... Once we, it feels like once we get sick of sitting still, now that we've rested on our laurels, we've taken that moment of rest, but we've enjoyed our time, um, it does begin to come, like we need more stimulation. Now, now we're needing to move on to the next thing. Hold on one second. Thanks. Yeah, we got sevens on the board. We have fours on the board. Um, and together they equal 11, right? So it's about this analy analytical research, doing our jobs, doing, um, working on it, right? Eight of stone skill, putting in, putting in the, um, the effort to, um, make it to the next level, to refine our skills, right? Um, and, and that's that standing on higher ground. And it's interesting too, because it's like, look what they're doing. They're, um, they're making, they're making, uh, arrows it says clearance clearing away that old cycle and that's what's going to be celebrated right but we do have to have respect for where we came from what brought us here remember it was a success that brought us here it was a success that brought the cycle to an end it was a success that put us in a space of ponderance and which way are we going to go next so um, have respect for that reach breaking through absolutely this is about the whale um, whales live in the water but they breathe the air so they come through they can go down into the depths and hold their breath and go on but they have to come up for air and sometimes they do this playfully right just bursting through for light wow look at I just look at that whale and look at that Sun card right enjoying the beautiful day and then breaking that boundary breaking that glass ceiling breaking that barrier to rise above cal rise above we're getting there we're doing this right let's see what else oh we get a few more on the bottom ancestors generations mm -hmm. ancestors and generations of course are the spirits of the people who came before us whose dna we carry of course they are, but it's also the ancestors of self. As time uh, passes and we go through each of these cycles, as one ends and the next one comes along, we have our um, the past self that is the ancestor of the present self, and we will be our own ancestor to our future self, right? So um, it is. It's all about those cycles of learning. With each life lived by someone who came before us. They learned something, they accomplished things, they got things done and they taught them to the people who came after them. And the, that kept happening and kept happening and that's how we got to where we are in civilization. I did make a weird video about that. I was actually thinking about that video earlier. It's called uh, The Processions of the Equinoxes, How to Act or Age. And um, it's really uh, interesting. It's just me talking, but... Um, if that's, I'll post it down below if that's something that you're interested in because we got here by um, step by step by step by step and by letting the old thing go, letting the old time pass and then moving forward, right? Vulnerability, it is a scary thing to do, especially the breach here, we're moving through there. But you, um, wow, creation, I love this. And sanctuary, absolutely, you are safe. You will be feeling vulnerable. You will be feeling a little uneasy. I heard uneasy while um, making this transition, while, while trying something new, right? But the thing about the vulnerability card, right, it's like this meadow and you can see far away you can see all around you but everyone around you can see you um so that's that feeling of um like exposure i heard exposure well maybe your maybe your work is uh, coming to light you know um but you have you have a safe place to go with your ancestors with with yourself here with your family right ton of cups with the people well, that could be your family or that could be your soul tribe right the people who love you um support you surround you while you um 
take the time to make your creation, right? So it's like this sanctuary card with the four of swords and with this four of vessels. Um, it's that place. It's that place where we can get things done, right? And there's still, see how there's like still a portal open in that cave. Like it's not like he's like bound in there. It's like we go in and we work and we learn and we, and we take the time and we make the effort and then we reach, right? Then we come out and we take a deep breath out in the bright sunshine and that makes us vulnerable, but that's all a part of the cycle of our creations, right? Because if we took all this time in, in, um, within feminine energy within to create this thing, well, now it's going to be birthed out into the world. It's going to have exposure. It's going to be vulnerable. We're going to have to offer it and ourselves some level of sanctuary, some place of sanctuary, right? Some place of peace. So that is being afforded to us. It's because we're approaching it, remember, King of Cups. Now that could be the person who's helping us here, giving us sanctuary, standing up for us, being um, happy and and celebrating all of these accomplishments, the celebrating them with them, accomplishing them with us, right? We have the lover's card. We're not alone. There's something or someone partnering with us to create this. And um, it's absolutely beautiful. What is this rune that we got today? Oh, Muen the Vine, number 11. 11 is the um, number of service. It's the master number of service. We learn, we share, we teach, we help. We elevate. Others do that for us. That's what, oh man, that's what this is all about. Let's see what. I love this reading, you guys. Um, in the Northern Hemisphere, it's July 11th through August 7th. That's right now, right? In the Southern Hemisphere, January 11th through February 7th. Um, totems, the lion, the sylphs, the nymphs, elves, fairies, deities and guides, Dionysus, the green man, Pan, Lu, and uh, the as mother aspect of the goddess. There we go with that creation within you, right? The letter M, uh, the 10th illumination, and the celebration is Lamas, um, which is coming August 1st. So um, bringing things to fruition, abundance, harvest, community, prophecy, psychic, enjoyment, celebration celebrate i'm not gonna sing it because i want to get the things but you get the six of wands and the four of wands and this is saying celebration you guys i'm so excited about this right uh laughter abundance summer intoxication and ecstasy muin vine initiates the 10th lunation and the celebration of lamas or lunasa um also is the day of bread right um which honors the first fruits of the harvest all, here all vines and brambles are honored, including the blackberry. What is important now is gratitude for the outcome of fertility and for the cornucopia of fruits created through the cooperation of the sun, the flora, and the elements with the cooperation of the earth mother. Celebration is encouraged. The sun is at its fullest power. It, uh, is being celebrated. We have the sun out here, you guys. I love this. Um, this is a time for song, dance, and storytelling. Prophesizing and consulting an oracle are encouraged now. We enjoy our abundance. The ohm for this tree is uh, Muin and the letter M. Um, yeah, today's the last day I'm going to be at Art Fair, so come down and consult an oracle. How awesome. And um, get some sunshine. Be outside in the celebration with the community. Oh my God, you guys, this is beautiful. When you get the vine in a reading, you are promised abundance and fulfillment. Your harvest, what you have worked so hard to create, and you can expect results and tangible manifestation. Pat yourself on the back, take your bows, and enjoy the recognition and applause. However, you are also being asked to watch for signs of arrogance and hubris. Do not take this fulfillment for granted. Rather, sing praises of gratitude and count your blessings. This card suggests a celebration that can simply be shared with gratitude for the bounty available uh, uh, at this time. Get together with others and celebrate your community. Be grateful together for all you have. This is a card of creative expression through the arts, theater, writing, and performance. You know this is a time for something big. Tap into your bigger than life energy and expect expansion, creativity, and generosity. This is also a time to seek the oracle as vines encourage prophecy. Find a good reader or select your own favorite tool. Mm-hmm. I bring 
I am when the vine, I bring you the fruits of your labor. I promise you the rewards of completion. I hope you have been cultivating your very best. Take a moment to give gratitude for that which is good in your life and for the mysteries of the magic of Mother Nature. Share something with others, be it your time or your resources. Plan a celebration, honor your community, your family, your friends, laugh and sing together. Take a moment also to thank yourself. Think about what you are proud of and take a moment to sit in the sun and draw the solar power that feeds us. You guys get your butts outside and dance. Oh, I love this so much. I love you so much. Thank you for party, being part of my tribe. Thank you for being a part of our tribe and being here to celebrate each other and celebrate each other's growth and um, to breach that vulnerable place and to give each other sanctuary for our creations. Thank you so much for being here and being kind. Oh, I love you guys. I hope that was helpful. I hope that you got something out of it. Um, and I thank you. I hope that you come back and see me again tomorrow.